All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoko, has revealed the real reasons Nigeria Army is begging the world powers to help them kidnap and rendition the Prime Minister to the Zoological Republic. Here are the news in detail. Prime Minister of the BLGIE, His Excellency Mazi Samanekpa, has finally revealed the real reason, the true reason, the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom Nigerian government and its terrorist military are begging the world powers, international community, to help them to kidnap the Prime Minister from Finland and, of course, extraordinarily rendition him to the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom Nigeria. So, without further ado, let us read from the official and verified ex handle of the Prime Minister Mazi Simonekpa. After that, I will show you the official flyer. So, according to the PM, he actually tweeted this yesterday, but because of other engagements, I was unable to do this very broadcast and of course set the record straight now he said the real reason for the nigeria army calling upon amnesty international and the icc to intervene vis-a-vis -vis biafra and the blgie is not because of a single alleged incident with a former nigeria soldier of course you all know it is no longer news that the biafra liberation army captured a terror a zoo terrorist who came to you know to slaughter innocent biafrans but unfortunately to him or should i say fortunately to him he was captured alive after being overpowered by the biafra liberation army many of them fell and many of them ran with bullet injury but that man Ade or whatever they call him was unable to run because he sustained very degrading injury now he was lucky actually he was very very fortunate to be captured by the biafra liberation army and that's why his life was spared and then the prime minister called it a gift to the yoruba nation so according to the pm he said considering that the nigeria government has been complaining about insecurity in the southeast for years why didn't the nigeria army reach out to the icc earlier why didn't the nigeria army reach out to the icc earlier since they have been complaining about insecurity in the southeast now the real reason for the nigeria army's in international plea is due to the biao gie's recent meetings with the senior u.s officials and congress persons the nigerian government is afraid of u.s government recognition of biafra mm. <laughs> that is very 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 serious and so it's resorting to desperate measures i'm going to give you a lot of explanations and analysis i just want you to take your chill pill let's first of all read from the prime minister's you know comment and then we will analyze it now he continued as such the nigeria terrorist government not only appealed to the icc but also amnesty international which is a human rights organization and not a law enforcement agency right as a desperate public relations stunt to weaken our relations with the u.s government and the international community i can assure everyone such an attempt will end in failure it has already failed it's not that it's going to end in failure it has ended in failure because in as much as they tagged amnesty they complained to amnesty that has you know published several you know a complaint against them concerning human rights abuses especially here in biafra land human rights abuse against biafran people is still the same organization they shamelessly approached to help them kidnap Mazi Simon. I don't know how they reason. Anyway, when you have uh, Goro Eaters and the Janja Weed terrorist sympathizers ruling you, what else do you expect? And then the Prime Minister continued. He said, As a counter, I welcome our friends in the US government to ask the ICC and Amnesty International, which has highlighted the human rights abuses of Nigeria in the past, 
to investigate the Nigeria terrorist armies, you know, human rights violations. They don't even know what they have done to themselves. <laughs> The Zoo Janjaweed Army and its terrorist government do not understand what they have done to themselves. They don't know. Because if they knew, if they eventually realize what they have done to themselves, they will regret it. They will regret making this move. Now, let me tell you something. You see, ICC in Hag has a lot of pending cases against Nigeria officials many of them including Buhari but you know because of uh, you know their interest most of the times UK Britain always intervening on these matters making sure that they suppress whatever desire the ICC has to you know prosecute or to pursue these cases UK has always been there but now the Biafra matter is already a global phenomenon right we have taken it the government of Biafra has taken it to, to the top where the whole world is now paying attention to what is happening in Biafra between Biafra and the zoo so it is no longer possible for even UK to suppress the Biafra matters it, it can never happen again because now we have a government a functioning government that can take this matter to any level at least you can see how we have been doing in the united states of america with the congressmen and top 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 u.s government officials now the zoo the zoo government and the terrorist army are afraid of the december 2nd biafra declaration because they know what it means they know that once we declare biafra on December 2nd. That is the reason why the PM said here, the Nigeria government is afraid of US government recognition of Biafra. They are afraid. Listen, let me tell you, if America recognizes Biafra after declaration, that means it's over for Nigeria. It's over. I'm telling you the truth is over. <laughs> so that is why now they are calling on ICC and, uh, you know, uh, Amnesty International to help them in order to use these uh, two top organizations to confuse the u.s government because the u.s government would want to know what is this thing that icc international criminal court is investigating or trying to do right so now they know that once biafra is declared on the second of december we will start gaining recognition from the international communities nations will start recognizing us and they anything that makes us recognize us as quick as possible it is over <laughs> i'm telling you because once america moves others follow there are no two ways about it so they don't want such a thing to happen because it's going to be the dead of the zoological republic you know some people call it finito now let me bring it back to the human rights abuses of the zoo Janjawi terrorist army against innocent citizens of Biafra and of course other citizens in the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom. Recently, they bombed the entire village in Zamfara State. The other time, not quite long ago, they bombed the entire village in Brono State. And then they came out and said uh, it's because of the war we are against Boko Haram. They mistakenly bomb the village you see that that is human rights abuses now if you bring it back to biafra land we all know what the zoo janjaweed army has been doing to biafra people the amnesty international has you know published so many series of documentaries how the zoo army has been you know dehumanizing biafrans massacring biafrans committing all manner of human rights abuses against the biafra people even the one that happened in Aba high school a former labia state we all saw how amnesty international reported the matter we saw it we read it so the zoo has actually shot themselves in the foot because what they have done now is another thing to show how desperate they are to show 
that look <laughs> that is fire on the mountain i'm telling you the truth and of course biafra has won now you can see this is the official memo or should i say press release from the office of the prime minister his excellency mazi samanepa so this is the same thing that we read the reason the real reason for the nigerian army calling upon amnesty international and the icc to intervene vis-a-vis -vis biafra and the biagre is not because of a single alleged incident with a former nigeria soldier right so it is the same you can see the signature signed his excellency Ekpa simon Njoko. this is official from his office 